Lord. Good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. And what a nice cool day that it is, but so thankful for a warm building. I'm so thankful that Sister Ashley was able to walk in this morning. <laughs> if you saw on Facebook, her and the kiddos went to, I think, Elite Air last night, and I think Mom and Dad got um, involved and did some jumping and some rough playing, too. So. Too old for that now. Praise God that they're all here today and uh, walking in. Uh, but all kidding aside, I'm so grateful to be back in the house of the Lord. I'm thankful to see Sister Cindy and Brother Tim coming in. Yeah. I know she had surgery and Sister uh, Martha as well. Um, excuse the two-year-old that's standing with me. But let's all stand and go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Remember those that aren't here, that it can't be, and those that um, are fighting sickness. I know several of us have doctor's appointments this next week coming up. Remember um, Rachel and Rebecca, Lord, and their pregnancies and uh, an unspoken request as well that um, God knows all about it. Yes, Frankie. Jesus, Jesus. She has cancer and uh, she needs an pneumonia. So let's pray for her most importantly for her soul. Remember uh, yes, amen. Remember also uh, Freddie and Amy as they laid their father to rest and father-in-law to rest. Peace. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for the opportunity, Lord, to be in this place, Lord, and to feel your presence, God. And Lord, we ask you, Jesus, that uh, a, a spirit of worship, God, and thanksgiving would come over each one of us, Lord, and God, that we can worship you in spirit and in truth. And Lord, we lift up, God, those that need a, a touch, God, in their bodies for Frankie. God, that's fighting cancer and pneumonia, Lord. God, she needs her body touched, but Lord, most importantly, she needs to be ready to meet you, Jesus. And Lord, we pray for comfort for Amy and Jason and Dawn, Lord, as they laid their Father, to rest this week, God, that you would comfort them and lead and guide them. God, we pray for those that are in the nursing home, God, that you would continue to move and touch for Coleman and Brother Bowen, Lord. And God, we pray for this service, Lord, that you would bless in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to make a clarification that Sister Rebecca is not pregnant. Amen. Oh, no, no. The family is back at Pray for Keep her in prayer. Amen. Amen. Brother Steve. How many come to praise him this morning? This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. We're praising. We're praising. We're praising. Oh, 
Jesus. 
Well, I praise the Lord for being here. I praise the Lord for everything he's done for me. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he does not change. Amen. Uh, drop D. I'm going through. He does 
does have two heart tubes. It was a widow-maker's heart attack, mm -hmm. and most people don't survive that. Yeah. That's what they said. Most people don't. Uh, the nurse is coming down tomorrow, the one that saved him, you know. Well, God saved him. Not yes. God Amen. saved him. She needs to put her down. God used her. Amen. Yes. But she is coming down tomorrow, and she's going to surprise the family. She wants to see him. He can't talk. Uh, they do have him tied down to the bed because he's a he's pretty big man. He's really strong and he's wanting to get out of that bed and he can't. So they just got him under sedation, but they're taking him off of it a little bit at time. Praise the Lord. But uh, my sister sister in law went to see him the other day and he recognized her. Obviously, he is opening his eyes and he stuck his tongue out. And they were like, This is
wasting whatever it's called. <laughs> I thought maybe the boys had a song. Amen. Somebody else got a praise while Sister Wanda comes this morning. Amen. And blesses us in song. Somebody else got a praise. I always love to be in here today. And I heard that <coughs> Steve and I are going to be grandparents again in October. Oh, boy. Exciting. Amen. Keep praying on them babies. For Amen. 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 Don't forget that. The last time uh, Caitlin had some difficulties and lost the baby. So let's remember that and keep taking in prayer. Amen. Anybody else this morning? Got a praise for the Lord. I want to thank God for waking us up this morning. Amen. Amen, Amen Brother Tim. That's right. Thank God. Thank God. Somebody else. Praise, praise the Lord for his mercy. Amen. Amen. Brother David, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for his Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord for Brother David. He I've had a lot going on the last several weeks, and Brother David stepped up and really helped me out. He, he yeah. said, uh, "He said today I don't like pushing things off on him to do, but he said, uh, Rob, just go with me and help me get the stuff for the women's bathroom.'" And he said, "I'll just finish it myself." And I said, "Well, God love your heart. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell him no. Amen." So he's willing to do it, and I love that. Amen. I praise God for those that are willing. Amen. Sister Haley, would you come this morning? Uh, we want to pray. I don't know. Uh, somebody had you on their heart today and asked if we could pray for you. I said, absolutely. As Sister Wanda sings this morning, amen. Let's let's just anoint Sister Haley and pray for her. Amen. Someone mentioned today uh, who's on the Lord's side. So who is on the Lord's amen. side today? Amen. You know, we got to make a decision or, or make up our mind who we're going to serve. We can't be straddling the fence. No. We can't be playing church anymore. Right. It's Amen. time to be obeying God. Amen. 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 He's not to be mocked. He's not to be made Amen. fun of. That's He's right. a true Amen. God today. Yes. And I honor him. Thank I'm thankful to be in the house of God. He's Amen. my God today. I praise him. Amen. 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 Praise him. Amen. 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 Lord, we pray over Sister Haley this morning, God, and this family. Lord, we ask, God, that you would bless and, Lord, that you would anoint not only the home, but the relationships of the children. God, we ask that you would help Sister Haley with the godly wisdom. Lord, to lead these children as hard as it may be in this day and time. We ask, God, that you anoint her, bless her, lead her, guide her, direct the path that you have for her. Lord, help her walk as hard as this is a dove. Lord, as wise as a serpent.
give roses while she's up here today, but I wanted to say this about uh, our own sister Chelsea Aldi. She is an absolute phenomenal Sunday school teacher. Amen. 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 The kids love their Sunday school teacher. Amen. And uh, I've seen some of the things coming out of there. And I like it, especially when you give me the little cookies. So you're dismissed. <laughs> you're dismissed to do that today. Amen. Sometimes she has those uh, little snacks or uh, the little cookie that goes along with the lesson. And she always gives me a couple of them. <laughs> so, of course, she's my favorite. You know what I'm <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Amen. This morning. It's so good to be here, amen. I'm just so glad that the uh, young kids are out here with us today, the teenagers, amen. I don't want to call them kids, amen. They are young adults, amen. And I love it. And uh, this morning, they're out here, and tonight, they'll be taking over the service. So come and support them, amen, as they uh, take over the service. I call it the youth takeover because that's what they do, amen. That's how we, that's how we learn. And also, those of you that have been invited to the leadership workshop that's done on purpose, amen, that is coming up this weekend, coming weekend, so don't forget that. I said Brother Bates could probably teach it. He said, no, 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 but I think he's leaving town this weekend, but uh, just keep, uh, keep that in prayer. Don't forget it. Turn your Bibles with me this morning over to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We're going to continue with the, the lesson of spiritual gifts, amen. And uh, continue talking on that. But I got a couple of things uh, that I want to touch on today that are in the lesson but are very, very critical to us. But I want to begin at verse number 10. Amen. And Sister Amy Lumpkins walking by, uh, uh, watching by uh, Facebook said to keep her and her family in prayers. Amen. As they start to go through her, her daddy's belongings and uh, start to go through all those things, let's just remember, let's remember to pray for that family. Amen. This morning. Amen. There was it was a hard funeral for them, but just thank God. Amen. And uh, I want to praise the Lord also. Uh, many of you know my mother was in the hospital and she had had a virus in her blood stream. And uh, Sister Haley, her doctor told her this past week that uh, she was just within hours of dying because of that virus, but they caught it in time. Amen. Started the uh, uh the antibiotic, amen, and so she's coming out of it, and I appreciate that, and praise the Lord for that today, amen, and uh, so this morning, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, amen, that sweet baby, oh, mama, why don't you take her back, amen, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 10 says, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, amen, in 1 Corinthians 12. But all these worketh that one and selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will, uh, giving each gift, amen, is, is not meaning that we have all the gifts by one gift, but that we have the gifts of God by the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, young boys, uh, uh, young men, I want you to understand today that God will give you, uh, uh, he will give you, Sister Maya, the gift that you are supposed to utilize in the body of Christ. Amen. Once you have received the gift of the Holy Ghost, Amen. it will work through the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. to bring about the manifestation of the gift that God has given you. Amen. And the Bible teaches us that not that we don't get all of the gifts by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, there are several, even in this church, that have utilized all of the gifts that Paul talks about in this text. There are more gifts than what Paul addresses here. And I, I want to touch on that today. But I also want to bring out something else, amen, that's a very serious matter. But in Ephesians, I'm going to tell you other gifts that Paul talks about. In Ephesians 4.11, he says that he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Amen. <coughs> a true evangelist, let me share this with you. A true evangelist builds up a church. Yeah. Amen. Doesn't come in to split a church or tear a church up. Amen. Amen. Doesn't bring a message that causes division and confusion. Amen. Amen. But edifies the body. 
Amen. And a true evangelist will never go to a church preaching doctrine. Right. It's not their place, is it? That's the pastor's job. Amen. A pastor, because you see here he said some evangelists, some apostles, some prophets, pastors, and teachers. A pastor must possess all of the qualities given to us in 1 Timothy 3, 2 through 7. And those are not a novice, not a new born again Christian. Someone just walked in off the street. Act to teach. Amen. So a, a pastor must be ready to counsel, must be ready to give Bible study, must be ready to teach the gospel, must know and be knowledgeable, Brother Jason, of the gospel in order to teach it. Yeah, right. <laughs> How many want to preach that gets up behind the pulpit every Sunday and teaches on the Ten Commandments? Every Sunday, because that's the only thing they know. We want somebody that knows the Word of God, that has studied to show themselves approved. Amen. Amen. Patient, not greedy, not a fighter, not covetous, ruling their own house well. The Bible says teachers must have words and lessons. I want to read from my notes. Teachers must have words and lessons. This is critical today. That are applicable to the entire Bible, to all nations of all diverse people. And let me say this about true Bible teachers. They don't look up everything on the internet and teach what the internet says. Amen. They teach what the Word of God says. Amen. amen. Can I get another amen? amen. amen. Romans uh, 12, 6 through 8 gives us another variation of the gifts through the Holy Ghost. It says, having them, would you sit down? Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait. Man, oh man. Let us wait on our ministry. I've been telling Elijah, he's been doing a good job teaching. I said, Elijah, you pray about what your gift is, haven't we? Amen. Amen. We've been telling, don't, don't listen to us. Don't listen to what anybody else is telling you. Yeah. But wait upon God. Amen. Too many. Mommy called, Daddy called, and I called myself preachers. Yeah. 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 Sister Mark liked that. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There are, he says, or that exhortation on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy and cheerfulness. There are more gifts than what are listed here, but we will never find out what our gift is if we do not receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Some of us in this room, amen? Some of us in this room may have the gift of prophecy, but we're setting on the gift or we're refusing to go through uh, and receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost to bring it about. Some of us may have the gift of healing, Brother Matt, but we would rather set on the gift than to do what God tells us to do. My answer to that is obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. I want you to jump down this morning after we have covered the gifts and the variation of the gifts. I want you to jump down with me this morning to verse number 25. We're going to preach for the next 15 minutes. Get a little uh, little bit on your toes, maybe. Verse number 25 says this. Amen. Amen. We'll get there one of these days. Verse 25. That there should be no schism. Come on, man. Amen. In the body. But that the members should have the same care one for another. Amen. 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 What does schism mean? <laughs> well, Webster calls it this, Sister Mai. It says, a split or division between strongly opposed sections or parties caused by differences in opinion or belief. There should be no division in the body what did Paul teach us in the gospel? That there's going to be a variation of gifts, 
But he also teaches us, as we'll find out maybe this week or next, uh, Sister Cindy, we're not supposed to have any animosity or jealousy over anybody else's gift. <laughs> you have as much of God as you want. You can have as much of God as you want. But you can also have more of God if you learn to keep your mouth shut. Come on now. Wisdom tells me to shut my mouth more times than it tells me to open. Wisdom tells me that gossiping is still a sin. Amen. And I'm addressing it today because I'm not going to tolerate it in this body. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Worst thing in the world is to be called in on the red carpet in my office and told to keep your mouth shut. Amen. You don't think I won't do it. You bet two times to a dollar I will. Amen. Amen. We are supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ. We should not be running each other down. Amen. Amen. I look at the world. And Brother Mel, I think the world does that stuff. But Brother Stephen, we who love God, we do not run each other down. Amen. We don't talk bad about each other. Amen. The world does enough of that junk. Amen. There should be no division, no schism in the body. Amen. Boy, I get mad. Yes, I get mad. Because this one calls this one and blah, 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 blah. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? Amen. Spend the money that you, you spend on your phone and put it in an offering plate because you don't need one, honey. Amen. I wish somebody helped me preach. Amen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Y'all talk and about you big Cadillac. No. <laughs> if we did, it wasn't bad. But you know, for names brought up, absolutely. Out of love, out of concern, out of pray for this person. Um, I can't think of anything on top of my head, what we said, but it was always a positive thing. Building someone up, not saying that you see so-and-so here or there or whatever. Yeah. Oh, you don't find that though. What you find is I don't like blow for my mouth. I think I brought up Sister Martha and my concern for her health and what she's going through. That's not gossip. That's concern and lifting up. I think Amy and Freddie came up because they lost the father yeah, and were concerned. That's different than saying, man, so and so hasn't been to church for so long. I think they need to do this, this, this. Someone else after you have that conversation and taking it to someone else. Amen. Paul teaches us that we are supposed to have unity in the body. Amen. Amen. Brother Tony, I got news for you. Not everybody in the world loves you. Amen. But everybody in this room should support you and love you. Amen. 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 Well, I got one thing. Amen. Amen. Brother Tim, not everybody likes you in this world, but everybody in this room should have your back. Amen. Amen. I expect the world to run me down, and I expect Brother David for the world to not care for me, but I expect everyone in this room to love me enough to not run me down when my back is turned. Amen. There is to be no division in the body. Amen. Let me ask you this. How can God bless a church when there's divisions among the people? That's right. That's right. He says in verse number 26, and whether one member suffer, all members suffer with it. Amen. Or one member be honored, all members rejoice with it. Amen. When when one person is being bragged about, I'm going to use little cadence as an example because <coughs> we brought her up here a few weeks ago and bragged about her basketball ability. Well, nobody got jealous over that because I venture to say y'all are terrible at basketball, except for Sister Ashley because I've seen her do it out here. <laughs> I got pictures. Yeah. I've seen her. She's pretty good, isn't she? Oh, well, no, never mind. <laughs> Let's not ask the boys. <laughs> Amen. But here's the thing. I bring a minister up here and I say, wow, what a great job. Well, everybody else starts to get jealous. Well, yep. what did they do? 
Well, how come he likes them? Or how come they like him? Or how come Brother Alvin doesn't uh, use so-and-so as much? Or how come so-and-so doesn't preach? Why don't you just keep your mouth shut? And let Brother Alvy do my, what I do. I pastor the church. God didn't call you to pastor. He called you to pastor. Go across the road. Start you a new church. Amen. Like everybody else does. <laughs> amen. Somebody gets mad. Amen. They run off. Uh, Sister Christy asked me a, one of the best questions I've been asked. I'm going to brag on you. I don't do this very much because I don't want to make a habit out of it. But she asked me a question a few weeks ago. She said, why shouldn't you be able to get on and literally uh, uh, correct somebody in the church and not worry about them leaving? That's right. Amen. That's you, you know, the truth is, Sister Christy, is that people should love the church enough right. where they accept that, right? Mm -hmm. Where they accept that correction. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Brother Bates, isn't that yeah. true? And I shouldn't have to worry about them leaving. But you ask some people, you say, here, the, what you want me just to leave? That's not what I said. He said that when one member suffers, we all suffer. And when one brother Eric is doing good, we're all rejoicing. Amen. When little Cadence is great at basketball, we all should rejoice with Cadence. Amen. Come on now. When brother, when brother Tony preaches a good message, amen, I don't care how much he steps on your toes, good job, brother Tony. Man, I want to hear that again. Amen. amen. When the youth group is doing good, we should be praying for brother Matt, and we should be telling brother Matt, man, we support you. We want this youth group to grow. Amen. We want it to do good. We want our young people receiving the Holy Ghost. When Brother Elijah teaches or preaches, amen, support him. It's hard being a young individual standing up and going to the house of God. Amen. It's hard. Some people aggravate me so much because all they do is complain about everything everybody else in the church is doing, but they never look at all the craziness they bring along with them. Amen. Yeah, I bring Sister Bates also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Technically, she brings you, but who's counting? Amen, brother. Brother Bates. Amen. I drive myself. So <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, okay. Amen. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Thank you, great day. You know, Rob, you were talking about it. Restore. Such a one in Amen. The first thing people want to do when they see you fall is kick you. Go on, bring it out. They want to talk bad about you. They want to run you down. But a true believing church and a true Christian will show themselves as a true Christian if they will go in love and help restore the person yes. and uplift them Come and on. encourage them and say, hey, how can I help you Come on. get yeah. better? What can I do that will help you? Come on now. But too many times, Rob, our flesh wants to say, hey, you know you're doing wrong. Oh. And kick them down. And we it's can't worse do than that, that, church. We can't do that. And so that's why I like that verse. When one of us hurt, we all hurt. We all hurt. Because I should be able to feel your infirmity. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And you should be able to feel my infirmities. Why? Because we're so connected with one another. Yeah. I should be able to know what's going on in your life. And I don't mean that like everything, but I mean I should be able to know what's going on in your life just by being around you. Amen. 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 Um, brother, brother Tony, the, the thing that bothers me when a person is is when a person is doing something wrong, we're supposed to restore them. Um, 100, I've done it multiple times. Amen. That's why some of you are still here. Amen. That's 
true. It ain't none of your business who they are, but some of you, that's why you're still here. Amen. But the fact of the matter is, is what I hear, well, I knew so-and-so did it. I just knew it was just a matter of time. Man, that's the worst thing you could say about that. Yeah, Why, how come we just wait around waiting for people to mess up? Yeah, the world does that. Why, why is it we are encouraging one another, Brother Jason, and saying, uh, I, I want that person to succeed in their ministry. I want that person to succeed in their walk with God. I want that person's marriage to succeed. I want that youth group to grow. I want our church to grow. How come we can't look at it optimistically? Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. That's right. Instead of negative, I've got something to say to all of you here today that always want to complain and be negative about everything, why don't you take a look at your own self and look at how terrible your life must be because you're looking for the negative of everybody else. Amen. 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 I'm charging extra for that one. Can, can I give a testimony? Yes, yes, by all means. I have a cousin who I've known since she was a baby, and I didn't like her. Because my grandmother preferred her to all her other grandchildren. <laughs> and I, I, I even tried to get a horse to throw her and kill her when, oh, we, oh, when we were kids. Don't take advice from the base. <laughs> I was a kid. I my didn't know any better. I, I always thought she was a terrible person. Well, uh, she had two children out of wedlock before she was 16 year old. And she was on drugs. And messed up really bad. And what was my thought? I confess, I always thought she'd be, end up like that. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? 16 years old, she went to church. She fell on her knees and said, Praise God, God, get me out of this. Yes. Help Amen. me save my Thank soul. You. And today, that woman is working in the ministry. Amen. Sometimes when we when we try to take over the situation, mm -hmm. I'm not so sure he says, uh, "Okay, you got this in, huh? Mm -hmm. You think you can do it?" 
99.9% of the time, you're going to mess it up. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm a living testimony. Yes, you are. Amen. Amen. <laughs> seen that. Anybody else ever seen that? Yes. Instead of me trying to beat the horse into submission, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. I just take your hands off, Lord. Mm -hmm. You do it. Or you do it. Yeah. Amen. There wasn't anything you could do for your cousin but pray. Mm -hmm. But prayer was the best thing you could ever do for him. Amen. Amen. Take your hands off yeah. and the Lord take care of it. Give him another chance. Mm -hmm. Some of us, our, our marriages, we just need to, God, it's in your hands. Some of us are walk with God. We just need to pray and draw closer. Amen. 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 Some of us are children. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just need to, Lord, you take care of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because mm -hmm. we can't. Mm -hmm. And you're right. When we try, we make a bigger mess of it than if we would have just Amen. done what we initially knew to do, and that was to keep our mouth closed. Mm -hmm. Amen. You'll know when I get real mad, I'll say, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> then when I'm coming down off of that, I'll keep mouth closed baby okay <laughs> but it is it's come on keep your mouth closed don't utilize it so much and let God Amen. sister Lord you got anything to say this morning uh, years ago uh, the Lord told me that he wasn't immune to me in the body because he's a lot of love Amen. he was, he was talking earlier boy that's, that's true that is so true sister Christy would you come piano this morning What's that, brother? No. Oh, God, help us to never. I don't ever want to push anybody away. More than anything, I want to open our arms and receive people. And I want people of all backgrounds, all nationalities, all... Bring all your crazies to the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Bring all your crazies, Brother Ethan, to the Lord. Leave it there. Bring it to the Lord and leave it there. We've all done things we're not proud of, but you know what? We stop doing those things. Amen. I was telling somebody the other day, I don't remember now who it was, Mr. Alvey and I were talking to somebody, and I said, if I wrote a book, it would be, don't stay in your mistakes. Don't stay there. Get out of that mistake and don't repeat it. Amen. We've been talking with a, uh, someone that's <clears throat> been an addict before, and I'm not going to say it's drugs related, but uh, and they, they don't necessarily attend this church. But uh, the thing is, is that that the, they know that if they run around with the same people, yep. Amen. It's just going to be another occurrence. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So what what changes? Well, I get clean, and then I go back to the same. Okay, but that's that's not what you should do. Amen. You should come to church. You should find Christ and try something totally different than what you did before, because what you did before didn't work. Amen. Amen. What you did before didn't give you the peace that God can give you. It didn't give you the joy that God can give you. Uh, Sister Alvy and I have been watching, a, I'm not proud of it because there's some awful language on it. And I wouldn't recommend anybody to watch it. But I have literally sat, Sister Christie, and cried my eyes out as I watched this show <clears throat> about girls. Some are 12, 15, 16, 17 years old, incarcerated because of the decisions that they've made. Yeah. Amen. You know what it starts off with? Amen. You all listen to this old man for just a minute. Old man. It starts off with words. Oh, yeah. There you go. It does. From the abundance of the heart, mouth speak. I'm talking to you elders too now. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. If God dwells in my heart, I don't want to talk like the world. Yeah. 
I don't want to look like the world. I'm not preaching on your clothes. Y'all look beautiful to me. I got a new pair of cufflinks. Nobody calls me. I get mad about that. I spend five dollars on them. Nobody says anything. But we we are so we are supposed to be separate from the world. Yeah. Now, once Satan has you in his in his grasp, mm -hmm. Amen. Well, it's just words, but it doesn't just stop with words. Can I get a witness? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it moves on to something more severe than just words, and then maybe it takes another step forward to something else more severe than the last thing. Am I right, Sister Ashley? Amen. And then it goes on to something more severe. Sin will never stop, but it will take you further than you ever wanted to go. Sin will take you further than you wanted to go. And why is that? Because Satan comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. And if he can kill you while you are in sin, he's got another one burning in hell. Am I wrong? I'm right. This morning, with every head bowed, every eye closed, please don't look around. Amen. Let me ask you this this morning. Some of you have got so much negativity in your heart that you need to repent of that today. And you need to stop being so negative about everything and everybody in your life. And some of us are using words that we know we are not supposed to speak. Come on now. I'm not asking you to raise your hand and admit it. I'm asking you to take this opportunity to repent of it. Amen. Amen. I don't need your admission. I need you to repent of it. God is the one that needs your admission. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this morning, each one that is here, Oh, yes. I feel Satan coming back at me in the name of Jesus. Come on, Satan. Amen. You have no power over this people. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we bind you. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art a bench to me. And I know that this message today has disrupted Satan's tactic. saying he has a path for us. I don't know who he's talking to. The interpretation is I have a path for you. Amen. Don't allow Satan to draw you away from the path. He come on my mama. She'll talk about my time. If you want to come pray this morning, this altar is open. Amen. But Heavenly Father, forgive us of our sins. Forgive this church for gossip. And I rebuke the spirit of gossip. Because that's what it is. It's a demonic division spirit. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit that says, well, I'm mad and I'll just leave. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to submit yourself to authority. Repent. And make things right in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You 
feel that, Sister Morgan? I feel that this morning. In this hour, nobody wants that to be accountable. They want to do their own thing. They are coming against that spirit. I come against that spirit that just wants to do their own thing, wants to go their own way, and have their own opinion. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I drive it out of here in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah we can't do nothing in sure. our own power. We can't do nothing in our own strength. It's by power. It's by might. Yes. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Yeah, come on over my shite. Keep coming from the Lord of my side. That's the power of God moving right now, church. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, anybody want prayer? Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Sister Abby, go pray for Sister Mark. Amen. But I'm talking about spiritual prayer. Sister Martha, just stay right there. She's coming. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. God, by your presence, by your spirit, we drive away dark spirits. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke you and bind you with the power that is in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, touch Sister Martha, God. Heal her. Lord, heal her, Jesus. children, God. They're your children, God. Lord, and you see that there's a calling upon each of their lives, and Lord, I pray this morning for them. 
God, that you would have your way in their life. And God, that they would allow you to lead and guide them. I pray for a hedge of protection over them, over all the children that are here today. I pray for a hedge of protection. And God, I pray that the heart would be humble enough to see you in everything. And God, to realize that the words they speak, the actions they take, speak a lot about their character, Lord, and who they are in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We ask God today. Thank you, Jesus. I love all of you. I love all of you. Amen. Don't we have a great youth group here this church? Amen. Brother Matt, you They probably wonder what in the world we're doing taking so long today. But I enjoy the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, what's the song? Jesus.